Okay, my name is Tiffany. I'm program staff here at the Other Side Academy. I was born into a life of addiction and homelessness. My parents broke up shortly after I was born. My uh, mother was, you know, an addict and chose to be, you know, in and out of homes and shelters on the streets a lot throughout my life. Uh, abusive relationships, and so I eventually started being in and out of, you know, drugs and abusive relationships as well. When I was 11 years old, we were living underneath the bridge on Fourth West in North Temple. And that's when I first started doing methamphetamine. I just wanted to really protect my mom. There were under the bridge, there was tramps everywhere, and it was dark, and I was scared for her and for myself. And a gentleman told me a tramp transient told me, "Hey, you know, I can get, I can give you something that'll keep you awake." And that was my first time ever shooting methamphetamine. And I was bulletproof for three days. You know, I was big and bad, ten feet tall, and nobody was going to mess with my mom. I have been um, homeless probably close to about 18 years of my life. I've had two, uh, two different sets of kids and didn't raise either one of them. I totally negotiated them and their safety for drugs and for men and sexual relationships and, and that's what was important to me. You know, I negotiated my morals and values and treated my body like an ATM machine. When I found out about the Other Side Academy, I was incarcerated and that's when I, you know, I, I, they were getting ready to let me out and I feared getting released. I was like, I cannot get released. I don't want to go back to the same lifestyle. I don't want to go back to the same drugs. I'm going to die. I don't want to go back to that. And I wrote the Other Side Academy and was interviewed and I was accepted. And it was the, the best thing that ever happened to me. I won the lottery. What I do now is I oversee, you know, intake and legal and also the women's program here. And I also oversee, you know, courts and APMP and making sure that the, the students get all their court problems taken care of and clients converted to community service and, and do all the things that we wouldn't do on the outside. And we get to show society that, you know, we, we can change and that we can be responsible in how we take care of ourselves that way. The minute I came here, I felt safe. I felt, I felt safe to make mistakes and to make changes and to really sit and think about the things that I want and the, and the change that I want in my life. When I got here, I, I didn't even, I didn't even crave a cigarette. I didn't want to go out there and use. I saw Lola and Dave and all them and I saw, I knew who they were and who they were now and I knew that's who I want to become. And so in order to get what they got, I need to do what they did. And in order to help other people get what I got, you know, I need to help them you know, lead by example so they can do what I did. Um, it's changed my life by helping me become a better woman, a better mom, better, um, a better daughter, a better friend. And, and way better employee for sure. I have a work ethic now. I, I'm able to care about people and help them be their best. I want other people to be happy and do their best and influence them in the right direction. I'm honest, dependable, accountable. I can be relied on. I still have some things to work on, but I'm able to live by an example and, and I can always self-evaluate or ask for advice and I'm surrounded by people that love me and care for me and I can always reach out to them because I trust them. I mean, we're a family here. So I've been homeless quite some time in my life, and so I know exactly what it feels like, the experience that you know I've been through. I can imagine how it might affect other people. And I think the village will help others gain self-reliance and gain some confidence and start to feel like they belong to a community. I think that's really important. When I was homeless, I felt like an outcast. I felt like I didn't belong, like I couldn't do good enough. Uh, I felt pain all the time. I, I could never reach peace. Um, I think that the village will really help help people to feel like they belong and give them a safe environment. I think safety is really important when you're homeless. You don't feel safe. You don't feel like you're a part of. And also give them a sense of accountability and a sense of wanting something different. I think probably in the beginning they might be a little, the homeless nowadays might be a little resistant, and but I think hopeful. And I think if they're seeing other people make these changes and they're, and they're understanding that we're here to help them and guide them in the right direction because we've been there, I think that'll be even more helpful.